Lori from Lou's Antiques and Collectibles, and today we're heading to Shipshawana, Indiana. There's a large flea market there with over 700 vendor spaces, and we go every year. So this is the uh, name of the flea market, and there is a campground that's attached to the flea market. So we always stay there because it's an awesome location. Uh, sorry, it's been a little while since we've been on, but we've had quite some challenges this summer, um, and we're uh, recuperating from all those. So hopefully we'll be back on track here. To keep putting out some videos. There's the Kodiak there, sitting there. That's where we camped. And look how close this is. This is awesome. It's so handy because you could go into the flea market, you could buy some stuff, you don't have to carry a lot of things, you could run it right back to the camper. The location is great. If you want to get food, you can get food, bring it back to the camper, sit in your air condition. And to me, there's no better spot. So I always stay at the campground right next to the flea market. There are some very nice campgrounds in town. This is just my favorite. And along with the flea market, you can see there's lots of, there's a meat and cheese store. There's lots of great restaurants, lots to do around here. Tons of little shops in town if you wanted to go visit some of those. So this flea market is not your typical antique flea market. It has a lot of new items. I like buying new and old, so I enjoy it. But if you're looking for a flea market that has predominantly old items, then this probably is not for you because uh, it does have quite a bit of new items. Now it has an auction. The flea market is Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and the auction is on Wednesdays. The, the auctions are typically more older items or reproductions. So here's a sampling of some of the booths that we have at this particular flea market. And lots of new items, like I said, flags and holiday decor. And this is where I pick up things from my home that I like for my use. Not necessarily to buy, to sell. Unless I'm going to the auction. The auction, I've gotten quite a few items for the antique booths there. But there's um, dolls. And there were some tools. And collectible cars and trucks. Things of that nature even some motorcycles, lots of Harley Davidson items, and uh, lots of farmhouse decor and great decorative items for your garden. I get the best garden stuff here. <laughs> it makes your garden look so cute and around your house. So lots of metal things and we have some dog decor and we have lost our little dog Annie just recently and um, it's pretty tough so that was one of our uh, things that has happened along with some a flood and several other things it's been a bad summer so hopefully things will get, keep getting better now so here's some more home decor and if you like what you're seeing press the like button ring the bell and subscribe please we're getting to be more popular and we're going to try to put out videos much more often than what we've been doing recently so here's some religious items. And this is, we're south of Detroit. So this is about a two and a half, three hour trip for us. So um, we go every year, like I said, and we usually stay a couple days and we do some things in towns and go to the, um, the thrift stores. And the garage sales are awesome in this area. They're typically at Amish homes. The people are really friendly and nice and they have lots of unusual things. This gentleman here, that last one is from Nigeria and I had to go to his booth twice. So you're gonna see it a little bit later in the footage. He had the most amazing things. And he was very nice to talk to. He was an immigrant and uh, has become a citizen and he has very unusual things. Here's more farmhouse decor and um, some signs people have made. And we're not copying those signs, we're just advertising for you. <laughs> So here is some galvanized items and some tools, more garden stuff, and some uh, lighthouses and some pans. And uh, even a sled. And this was kind of cool. This is actually an Amish buggy they were selling and lots of um, farmhouse decor. This uh, was, they're not, they're not old they're actually new they're kind of made to look old but super cute i had to get that from my front porch i have a taller version of that and decided i needed that one too i put flowers in there and pumpkins during the fall in there 
that's a cute way to hold things up off of the ground. Lots more tools, oil and gas type items, pulleys from the barns, garden tools, and here's some buggy wheels and some farm wheels. And those are the real McCoy. You could tell by all the wear on them that they are real. They are not a reproduction. So those are cool. We actually have one of those in our backyard. My husband used to use it for pictures when he did much more in photography. And uh, he's partially retired now. So here's some ladders that's made out of some old barn wood and some windows and some succulents. And this metal decor is really cute for outside in the summer. Lots of farmhouse house decor. If you are decorating your house in that, you want to come here because they have tons of farmhouse decor. They have everything. And like I said, there's some old items too. There's several old booths. It seems like they're getting more and more old uh, dealers with old items, which I of course like that too. But this is a different flea market because it has both. So here's some sun hats that they have and they have lots of clothes. And I've actually bought some of the clothes and there's some perfume and even some tennis shoes in the background there. And this booth was an Amish gentleman and he had a lot of decor that he made from old barn wood. Very cute. He did a really nice job. Beautiful bird houses. And the prices were very reasonable. And um, here's some more farm type items that he had that were very nice. Cool stuff if you want it for around your house. Even just the old tractor parts were kind of cool. Here's some crates, some nice old crates, and they had quite a few of them. Old bottles. And some more tools and hardware. And some oil cans. I believe those might be reproductions. Of course, we have to look in the Disney stuff. My daughter is a Disney fanatic, so we have to definitely always check that out. We usually never come home without something for her because flea markets are a great place to buy old toys and collectible type toys. So we had to check them all out. This booth was all toys. Very neat if you are a toy collector. And some bedspreads. Here's some of the new linens that they have and we've actually bought a bedspread set here. It's still is quite nice and very reasonably priced. I think they were like 30 or 40 dollars for the whole set. That was really a good deal for a king size. Now the prices are different depending on what you want. Um, these are those, uh, I believe they're called Rada knives. I don't, I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly, but they're really good knives and my son loves them because he likes to cook in the kitchen. So we always used to have, usually have to buy him something there. We got him a pizza cutter this time because they last forever. My mom, I think has had one for about 50 years. Here's a booth with all different kinds of rocks and fossils and semi-precious stones. Uh, I bought a um, an amethyst pendant here that was very nice. More farmhouse decor. It's always interesting to see who makes all this new farmhouse decor. It's very cute for your house. And some more holiday things and metal ob objects. More flags. I have three flag holders in my yard, so I always have to buy a lot of flags. They can kind of get worn out through the years. And here's more farmhouse decor. And lots of cute things for the kitchen. And jars and glassware, things of that nature. Okay, so this is a, a couple lady dealers that um, have a booth of all old items. They're from Wabash Antiques. They're um, super nice. I got to talk to them for a while and uh, told them that I would put their information up. So we're gonna talk here for a minute and you could hear it. They were very supportive of my YouTube channel and I really appreciated that. So this is their booth. Tables here, being you're yeah. gonna check my channel. Oh my it's gonna be a while before it's on because we gotta catch up on some things. That's okay. But we're trying to do enough to get us through the winter, so we gotta do 50, at least 52 of them. Yeah. No, that's good. 
because yours is not much in better shape. That one's the uh, doorstop. Yeah, that's what this one is too. Yeah. yeah, and I got your card, so I'll put oh, your I'll you put know. your name on the bottom if that's okay. Absolutely. And I'll say where you're located. Yeah. So make sure you go see them. They're Wabash Antiques and Ship Shawana. I don't know if they're always in the same booth, but you'll recognize them by all the old stuff. Here's some party goods that they sell. Napkins and paper plates and those kinds of things. I actually had this at one time in my booth and uh, I saw it here new. Um, pretty cool, lots of wind chimes. It's the ones that are really pretty sounding. And uh, this booth we featured earlier, but I had to go back and look at a couple things that I liked. So <laughs> we got a little bit more footage of it. Lots of flowers and owls and salt and pepper shakers and all that good stuff that you use for your home. And sunflower decor. Lots of people decorate with sunflowers. I know that's quite popular these days. And signs, of course. And clocks. Mixed in with some antiques. I like that how they do that. Put the old and the new together. It looks really cute. And here's some fall items. Pumpkins. And some tin signs. And they have all holidays pretty much all year round there. Or all summer long, I should say. I believe they're open from about, I, and you'll have to check the dates on this, go to their website, but I believe they open around the end of April and they close, I think, the beginning of October, maybe the end of September. So they, uh, they have a pretty long cycle, but make sure you check before you go. They also are typically open Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but they have special events on holiday weekends. So make sure you check that if you can't get there during the week. And like I said, the auctions occur um, typically on Wednesdays. Now I know they may have other types of auctions there also. This booth I had to come back to because I really liked this guy. <laughs> he was so nice and I had to come buy some beads because I thought they were so cool. And they were from Africa and um, very neat. Unusual things that I don't get to see, especially at a flea market. You would typically have to go to a specialized store for these types of things. But he had some really unusual items. That elephant was quite cool. I really liked that too. That was a little out of my budget though. It didn't quite fit in my little tiny house. I have a farmhouse that's very small. <laughs> but in the country regardless. And old. <laughs> so we have repairs all the time. So. But yeah, here's more of his items and uh, more of his beads and jewelry that he had. And lots of giraffes. If you like African animals, he's got it all. And here's some of the dresses and some more of the clothing that they have there. Here's another vendor who has more old items. There was a whole table full of cups and saucers. Those were quite nice. I have quite a few of those right now. I didn't really need to replenish any of those. But uh, there was some depression glass there. And I'm still working on that depression glass video. It's taking a long time because it's going to be complicated. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up hopefully within the next month or two. And they, they had lots of Fenton there, lots of Fenton shoes and some Westmoreland and those are different names of glassware that are quite popular with collector with collectors and very nice stuff and uh, depression glass as you can t see there comes in all different colors it comes in clear too and here's another booth with lots more farm decor for you folks to like to decorate with that and right now we're going the auction is in a big pole barn 
and this is uh, the day before the auction they have a lot of the items out so you can go kind of preview and look at the items or you can go real early in the morning now this is not one auction this is like 10 auctions all going on at the same time it is crazy so what i typically do is i kind of fish through there the day before and i decide which auction rings i want to participate in and find out the times they typically will have the times on the table of what time it'll be sometimes they're eight in the morning sometimes another auction ring will be at 10. but i always position myself right by the auctioneer because it is so loud in there and it's so crazy with so many auctions going on this at the same time that i got to really pay attention to know what i'm paying for things so but it is fun too so if you get a chance go to the auction they have some really good deals in there i've gotten some box lots that have been amazing and i've gotten very very old items in there this is just kind of a sampling of some of the stuff they have there are some reproductions too but there is mainly all old items and the prices are reasonable i think mainly because there's so much going on at the same time and everybody can't be everywhere so um Sometimes we've even had to split up one person at one auction and one person at another, but it is uh, it's quite a sight to see. And it's a lot of fun if you enjoy auctions. It's pretty uh, fast paced, shall we say. <laughs> you have to pay attention. So anyways, here's some stuff they had at the auction. And this typically occurs on Wednesdays. So when you get some time, come on down to Shipshawana, indiana definitely check out the flea market the auction lots of restaurants in town lots of neat things to do great garage sailing and lots of fun thrift shops and there's 700 dealer spaces there and definitely worth a drive if you are not a person who doesn't want any new items then this won't be for you but there is a plenty of old things also so remember to like us ring the bell and subscribe and we'll get, keep going with these and put out some more videos thanks